shows to film and send for approval one of which is actually a sunday reset most of my sunday resets i would say like mm, 75 no probably 80 80 to 90 percent of my sunday resets are unsponsored and they get filmed edited and posted all on sunday so most of the times you'll see me wearing that same outfit all day and on my Instagram stories I'll like kind of say like okay Sunday reset starts now and then obviously by the time the video goes live that's when you know that like the whole process is over but for a sponsored video the brand likes to obviously see the content review the content and potentially suggest or make any edits before the video goes live so i have to submit it to them days prior so for the sponsored sunday resets those get filmed earlier in the week but it's all like the same cleaning and then on the actual sunday goes live i guarantee you i have all the same cleaning to do again so long story long i have a sponsored sunday reset to film today so you'll get to see the behind the scenes of one of my sunday reset videos which i think is going to be fun i am doing the video in partnership with outdoor voices which is just the coolest concept they wanted me to do a sunday reset in their loungewear like so i just have to be wearing outdoor voices in the video it's just this comfy i've been wearing it all week actually so it's probably due for a wash but i'm gonna wear it one more time today to film and then i'll finally put it in the wash but it's their cloud knit collection and they they said they wanted a sunday reset of me wearing the cloud knit i was like that is amazing like yes 100 percent so that's what I have to film today. I also have a YouTube video to edit. I also have to, I don't have to, but I really want to get my website up tomorrow. Finally in the home stretch, I have to go to the post office today and get a PO box because in order to send out emails to people, I illegally have to have an address in the footer of the email. Like obviously I'm not going to put my home address, but that's not safe. So I am getting a PO box, but I set it up online the last step is to print something out and bring it into the post office so to recap we're filming outdoor voices sunday reset editing a youtube video setting up a p.o box and launching my website today and it's almost 9 a.m because i woke up late so that's a very ambitious to-do list but i think we can do it i'm gonna finish my makeup and then let's get started done and it smells so good in here i just let this juicier juicier it's probably juicier that's embarrassing leatherhead candle this is a company that does like luxury perfume candle dupes i'm not sure exactly what this one is i think it's one of those replica scents um like by the fireplace or like library or something but it smells so good and like very fall winter cozy vibes i did the toilet sink mirror i had actually done the shower for a different video yesterday so the shower is clean it doesn't need to get done again but i also used this mrs meyers iowa pine in the bathroom and this combined with that leatherhead candle it just smells so cozy and like wintry in there i think that's my new go-to combination i've been loving the mrs meyers season sense that's like when people freak out about the seasonal starbucks cups i freak out about the seasonal mrs myers i went to go put laundry away and i realized that i have nowhere to put it because this closet is jam-packed and these are pretty much all my summer clothes so i'm going to go through these and purge some stuff because I mean, summer's over, so anything that I didn't wear this year or I don't see myself wearing next, I'm going to put in a Play-Doh's Closet pile, and then maybe if there's time today, we can go to Play-Doh's Closet too. These are all my dresses, and I know I did not wear half of these, so some of those can go, and then hopefully we can fit all of this new fall-winter stuff in my closet. Okay, 15 minutes. Done with 20 seconds to spare, so this is what we're left with. It doesn't look any different. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, but I did clear a decent amount of hangers right there. I don't know if you can tell and I have this box started of Stuff to bring to Play-Doh's closet. It looks like way more than it is because there's a couple puffer coats under there Um, so that's taking up more of the box Uh-oh, that box looks like it's about to bust open too. So maybe That's not gonna work. I'll have to tape that up, but I Need to fit all of this stuff between the hall closet this closet in the closet in the guest room and then 
I'm gonna move on with filming because I still need to do a lot more for the Outdoor Voices video, but I just didn't want to include this because this was like a little side project tangent that I got on. I'm gonna clear off the bed and then I actually think I have more laundry to fold in the dryer right now, so wish me luck. Okay, the bedroom is perfectly clean and the closet is back to being stuffed full, but at least now everything that I needed in there is in there. The bathroom is done. That candle is burning so quickly. Like there's so much wax that's melted already. Um, I don't think it's been on that long, but oh well. Bedroom is clean. All of this is Christmas decorations that I've been buying over the past week or so. We're decorating this weekend. We're getting a real tree. If you can't tell, I got one of those like tree holder things. Um, but I'm doing like a black and white modern Christmas vibe. The cookie cutters are just to like make cookies with. But I made these like black nutcrackers and I got this Jonathan Adler dupe container thing right here that you see and i'm gonna fill that and i'm gonna fill this with mini candy canes at the door i've got a black tree collar black ornaments black beaded stuff these stockings all shown a vlog like all of the decorations obviously like when they're up but i'm so excited i hope it comes together the way i think it is because people on tiktok were doubting me and i want to prove them wrong next i would typically do the living room but it's pretty much perfect i'm just going to clean the acrylic coffee table light that candle and then vacuum a little in here and then i usually move on to the rest of like the living area thing to do while I'm filming is run up to the legs of the tripod and bump it which you know with the editing style that I do ruins the shot but how can you be mad at this you just ruined that shot just finished all of the cleaning it looks amazing in here I can't remember the last time it was this clean and organized I do have my drying rack out with a ton of clothes on it I feel like this is out 80% of the time it might as well just be like a permanent piece of furniture in the room I can't wait to have a proper laundry room where that can be at all times just because I hate that it's always out but it's so fresh and clean and all of the candles are lit so it smells amazing I have a load of towels and rags going right now so I need to remember to switch that to the dryer later but it's noon I think it's noon yeah, it's 11.56, so it's almost noon. I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick lunch. I was gonna make a grilled cheese for lunch, but I think I'm just gonna have like some Lunchable-esque type of meal. I have an apple, I have some ham, I have some cheese, probably some chips somewhere. So I'm just gonna make like a quick snack plate for lunch, and then I'm going to map out all of the errands that I have to run because I wanna make sure I'm not running around town and like going back and forth and back and forth. So I want to go to Play-Doh's, I have a Goodwill drop, and I have a lot of towels that I was going to bring to Goodwill, but some of them have, you know, like bleach stains from acne face wash or something. So I think I'm going to call around and see if any animal shelters take towel donations around here because I volunteered at an animal shelter in high school and I know that's something that they were always in need of because um, they would use them in the kennels and stuff. So I'm going to call around and see if that's the case around here because I'd rather bring those to somewhere that's going to use them because I feel like Goodwill is going to look at them and like actually just dispose of them. Call your local animal control. I just changed really quickly out of those clothes into a black workout set and this little free people movement puffer. I think it's like 40 degrees out right now. But I planned out my route and now I'm gonna go run those errands really quickly. I put everything that I need to bring down to my car on my little wagon. This is all of the stuff for the animal shelter. This is Goodwill. This box is Plato's Closet. Then these are presents for my parents and I'm gonna go home this weekend. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my car so I don't forget them. I'm on the way to Plato's Closet first so that they can be going through the clothes because if I have enough time, ideally I would like to go pick them up and get the money today. Um, but I strategically scheduled a meeting with my website designer at 2.30. It is 1 o'clock right now, so hopefully I can knock out these, like, five errands in an hour and a half. Hopefully. I hope it doesn't take longer than that. But then I'll go back, take my meeting. I also didn't call ahead to see if the play is even taking clothes, so maybe I should have done that. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they, like, take breaks if they have too much inventory. But 
fingers crossed that they're accepting items and I didn't have to make an appointment or anything because I know all of them are a little bit different. I just dropped off my clothes at Play-Doh's and they said it's going to take like two and a half hours, but I need to come back. Wait. One of my doors is open, but it's not telling me which one. Anyways, I need to be back um, this evening to get my stuff. So they just said I need to be back by 8 to pick up what they aren't taking and to get the money or else I guess like I forfeit it. Now I think I'm near a Dollar Tree and I'm going to go there really quickly because I'm going to get some like treats or dog toys or cat toys or something. I'm going to look at what they take because I don't just want to show up with the towels. I know I easily could and they would probably be grateful but like I don't know I'm gonna go all the way out to donate those towels I'd rather bring more stuff than just the used old towels to them so I'm nearby a Dollar Tree I'm just gonna go head over there really quickly and then actually am I closer to I think I'm closer to a Goodwill so let me do the Goodwill stuff first and then we'll do Dollar Tree <laughs> Three litter boxes, some wet dog food, some cat treats, some dog treats, and these dog biscuits. And I think that will be it. Next stop is Staples because I need to print something and I don't own a printer, but I need to print out a form in order to get this P.O. box. So many little guinea pigs in there that's so sad and on the name sheet on the outside of their cage it said the last time they had been cuddled like I guess the employees keep track of that so they're socializing them but it was like last cuddled on the 14th it's the 17th I was like can I cuddle them but that's so sad back in time for my call i'm gonna have the rest of the apple from lunch because i only ate half of it earlier and then i'm gonna have a swoon matcha lemonade just for like a little afternoon caffeine and after this call well actually let's see how this call goes because that will determine what the rest of my afternoon looks like because i really want to launch my website on sunday but i want to launch email signups tomorrow so basically everything has to be ready tomorrow but the actual website will go live on sunday so Fingers crossed that can happen. We're supposed to iron out the last details of that right now. How are you? I'm gonna start on the homepage. And I know I removed I the button simply because I don't know where it would lead. Mm, I can show you on one line. Working on a couple more things at my computer before I'm gonna take a break for dinner, but I am so sad about the sun setting before five. What time is it? Yeah, it's 4.58 and the sun is already setting. I hate this part of the year. I will be a early sunset hater until the day I die. I actually have another call right now at five that I'm gonna do and then I am going to take a break to make dinner. We're having beef bulgogi bowls tonight, so it's gonna be really good. Okay, I'm still not done working, but go figure that the laundress, the cleaning supply company that I use there, like fancy laundry detergents from, the glass cleaner that I use is from there. They just issued like an automatic, not even like a recall, but they just told people to stop using their products immediately because of bacteria that they found present in some products. Like they didn't clarify like the um, like production runs or you know the certain lines that are affected. Um, but go figure that I just pre-filmed that Sunday reset like and I used multiple laundress products in that. So um, I'm gonna have to clarify <laughs> to people that like I stopped that it was like pre-filmed and I did. I'm obviously gonna like stop using them, but wow, that stinks for them because their products are so expensive. And obviously with them contaminated and everything, like I'm sure a lot of refunds will be in order, but wow, go figure. The one time, I was just saying I don't like pre-filming Sunday resets and one of the few times that I have, one of the products that I clearly use in the video gets recalled in the like three day window before this video goes live. I just got a text from Plato saying that my stuff is ready for pickup. So I'm gonna go right now and pick that up because it's six o'clock. I'd love to just cook dinner first, but I feel like it's gonna take too long or I'm gonna like run out of time. I don't know. I've never sold out of Play-Dohs that makes you pick up same day. Like I kind of thought I could go back tomorrow, but I'm gonna go. Okay, drum roll please. I got $322, which considering what was in there, 
I was expecting a little bit more, but that's okay. I did take a couple things back that I was like, I would rather just put this on Poshmark, but I digress. I have to go home and make dinner because I'm starving. And then I have a little bit more work to do tonight. Just finished making dinner. We're having these beef bulgogi bowls with cucumbers, kimchi, and there's rice under there too. The recipe made enough to have some for lunch tomorrow, so that's gonna be nice. This recipe is different than the one that I usually use. This one actually had you grate a pear into the sauce, so I'm interested to see how it's gonna taste, but it smells amazing. Okay, update, that recipe was so good. It was like the perfect combination of sweet and spicy because there was kimchi in it too, and that added quite a bit of spice, but this is the recipe. It's the beef bulgogi bowl from the recipe runner. So I'll link this in the description box, but it's pretty simple. And the only thing that was kind of hard to find was the Asian pear, but you could use any pear. So I think we actually ended up finding the Asian pear and use that, but I'm sure it would be the same. Okay, I think we are going to go to Two Roosters, which is our favorite ice cream shop here, and get some ice cream. Debatably instead of going to the gym because I don't really feel like going to the gym I honestly kind of feel like I'm getting over something. I wasn't like quite sick, but I have felt like Borderline under the weather over the past couple days So I'm gonna skip the gym tonight and get ice cream instead I'm probably gonna get the chocolate chip cookie dough because I got that last time and it's the best chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream I've ever had in my life <laughs> It's almost 10 30 and i got ready for bed about an hour ago i washed my hair tonight so i like to let it completely air dry before i lay down on it or else i kind of have to like work backwards in the morning and fix any ends and stuff in it but my boyfriend actually goes to bed at like 9 i go to bed at like 11 he wakes up at 5 i wake up at 7 so like it all adds up but i like will get ready for bed and make sure i'm completely done in the bathroom in the bedroom before his bedtime so that way i'm not like banging around in there getting ready for bed so that's why i'm ready for bed so early or at least early in my book but i'm sitting on my computer and just making a little bit more progress on the website stuff i submitted a couple of things that were due and now i just have like two more things that i really want to get done for tonight and then i'm going to straighten up the kitchen per usual my little closing shift and probably go to bed i've been going to bed like closer to like midnight these nights over the past couple nights actually and i have been snoozing my alarm and instead of waking up at 7 i've been getting out of bed at like 7 45 then it throws my whole morning off so i really just need to like nip this in the butt and like actually go to bed earlier like at my usual time so that way i can get up in the morning and like have a full morning routine like i like to have um i also think that the heat is like messed up in our apartment i'm normally not one to like wrap up in a blanket but it has been freezing and we've been setting the thermostat like higher than we think it should be like we tried to get it up to 72 it wouldn't go any higher than 70 we bumped it up to 74 still wouldn't go up over 70 so i think there might be an issue and our electricity bill last month was like extremely high so i wonder if there's just like something going on with our heating system that it's like not working properly or overworking or something i don't know so probably gonna submit a maintenance request about that tomorrow if it doesn't warm up overnight although we do sleep at 68 we sleep like very cold but during the day we like like it warmer i'm gonna finish up my tea and these couple of things on my list and then start cleaning up the kitchen it shouldn't take long <laughs> 